everyone, so today we're going to talk about perfume and candles, which are two of my favourite topics to talk about um, after TV series. So, I'm going to start with the fragrances first, and they're my favourite autumn slash fall fragrances. I do this every year, um, that some of these will be things you recognise, some are kind of new additions, and the candles are kind of the same type of thing as well. The first one I always go back to this time of year is a really inexpensive one, and it's from Zara, and it's the Zara Oriental Perfume perfume which looks like this. I really like the bottle of this. I think it looks really chic and it's just really pretty. And this is a very unusual scent in that it's a warm vanilla scent rather than sweet. I am not massively keen on really sweet scents and I can only kind of deal with those in small doses when it's very very um, cold outside like when it's like Christmas time. Then I can do those types of um perfumes but this one is just really warm and it's kind of got that almost smokiness to it really inexpensive I think it's like mm, mm, I want to say like nine pounds something like that it's really really not expensive I'm sorry if my hair looks really weird by the way it got rained on when I went outside and I kind of thought there's no point in me doing anything nice to it because it was chucking it down with rain um but I really recommend you try this one if you're someone who doesn't like the kind of conventional sweet vanilla scents because I really hate those um I've mentioned this before but I remember when I was at school there was a girl that used to sit next to me in one of the um classes who used to wear the body shops vanilla um oil and I couldn't stand how that smelled. Like, it literally just smelled like cake batter to me. I really didn't like it. Just as much as I don't like my hair this morning. Whatever. Um, the next one is by Jo Malone. And this is probably quite an interesting one. But it's the Earl Grey Cucumber. Now, I do kind of switch between this. And I like to wear the Lime Mandarin and Basil during the kind of autumn time. Because, like I said, I can't be doing with anything too sweet just yet. And I'm very into kind of fragrances being seasonal. But this one, again, it has that slightly light freshness from the cucumber. But the tea makes it slightly warm and that's what I like in autumn those kind of slightly warm scents rather than being the really kind of sugary sweet type of scent I've nearly used all of this one up I really like it it's really unusual um, and it lasts nicely on me as well then the next one is not too expensive I don't think either and this one is from Diesel and it's called Loverdose Tattoo that's what the bottle of it looks like um, I got sent this actually a few years ago when I was doing some work with Fragrance Direct it's really nice, um, but it is very kind of generic in it's quite vanilla-y, but again not overly sweet. And it's a little bit powdery and floral, so the best way I can describe it. Lasts really nicely. And it's one that um, I've noticed guys seem to like. I always get compliments from men when I wear this one. Um, then I've got another one that's again pretty inexpensive, and this is one I've been using a lot lately, and it's the Intimately Beckham from David Beckham. Um, really, really like this one. It's sophisticated, slightly powdery, but more on the floral side and very grown up. It's more one that I would wear on a kind of evening or quite a, um, if it was nice and kind of bright, that crisp, bright autumn day that's really nice, I'd wear something like this. It's really nice and really inexpensive. And then the last one that I've got is by Burberry and my dad bought me this actually um, when he came to visit me a while ago and it's the Burberry Brit which looks like this and it's really really nice. Um, it's got that kind of, I'm going to put some on now actually because I haven't got any perfume on today. I wear a lot of perfume because it doesn't last for me and I love that kind of smell um, of just smelling good. Now I can smell myself. It's got a very, very subtle vanilla note. Um, slightly floral, but it's kind of got something fresh cutting through it that stops it being too much. It's very unusual. And definitely one that I like to wear this time of year because, like I said, it's not too sweet and it's still got that slight freshness that I feel like kind of goes with a crisp air. I know I'm so overthinking this that it's ridiculous, but, you know, indulge me. Really, really like this one, though. It's really lovely. And then for candles, my favourite um, autumn candles. I am currently burning this one by Yankee Candle and it is called Fireside Treats, which... 
isn't the strongest um, when it burns. Yankee Candle, I find, can be a bit hit and miss like that. Some are really strong and then some are not. This is more on the subtle side. If you like that, I've got a few here that are on the subtle side. I don't. I like a kind of really strong scent. But this is really lovely. It's a sweet, smoky marshmallow smell. And it really does smell like you're toasting marshmallows. It's a very authentic smell. Um, then I've got one here that I wanted to talk to you about, just kind of to open your eyes to this brand in case you didn't know. I saw it on the Sunday Girls blog, but it's from um, B&M, the store B&M, and they are Bath & Body Works Candle Dupes. Now I say dupes, um, take that with a pinch of salt because they don't um, have as much scent throw back, but they burn very, very evenly, Two ninety nine, and it burnt completely all the way around evenly, which I love. It drives me insane when candles don't burn evenly like that, but this one does. Beautiful packaging for two ninety nine. I mean, like, you know, really, really nice gift, um, and it's kind of got the leaf embossing on the lid here, really, really good value. Um, and the one I've got here is Brown Sugar Allspice. It smells really lovely, it's that kind of cinnamony brown sugar type of smell, um, but the scent isn't super strong. She did say that a lot of the ones from the range were kind of hit and miss in terms of the scent that they had. So I will be going back to try a few more, I think. But I, um, I don't know, they're good in principle. Like if it did have a good scent throw back, I would have bought tons of them. But none of the scents appealed to me so much. They did have one that was called like Fireside Treats or something that I didn't like. It was too smoky for me. And a lot of the scents I tried I wasn't massively keen on. There was one Christmassy one that I liked that was nice. So I might go back and get that. But I just wanted to show you these just in case you didn't know about them. Because I didn't. Um, and then my all time favourite autumn one. And you know this is coming because I love it. Is Hot Chocolate by Kringle Candle. And I've got a brand new one of these to burn soon. Once I finished my Yankee one, this one's coming out. And um, I, I, I kind of, mid-November maybe, um, is when I start with the Christmas scents. But up till then I kind of, I'm not ready for the clove and the kind of Christmassy smells just yet. But this one, it, it smells my favourite candle. You just, I can't even explain it, but it just smells like you're in Costa. It's amazing, um, and it's so strong, it fills the room, and it will forever be my favourite candle. It's my boyfriend's favourite candle as well, which I know makes him sound really strange, but he loves candles, and this is his favourite too, so we love that one. And then I've also got some new additions from Yankee Candle. I haven't burnt any of these, um, but I got sent them, and Yankee is one of those brands that I feel confident in recommending, because, like I said, they generally make ones that I really like and they burn quite nicely. They are a bit hit and miss in terms of the scent. They're never, it's never like you can't smell it at all, but it's very, um, sometimes they can be more subtle, sometimes really strong. I like really strong, but that's a personal thing. I know some people find that that gives them a bit of a headache. This one is my favourite and it's Ebony and Oak, but this one actually broke in the post. So what I'm going to have to do is break it and try and burn it in a different way. Um, I'm not sure how that will work, but yeah really like fresh and woody but without being kind of too outdoorsy i really like that one and then the really special one that i thought was really unusual is this one and it's honey clementine which is a really nice kind of autumn scent nice if you've got a cold as well actually um and this is so nice because it does really smell like honey not that synthetic really sweet honey like actual honey really really like that one it's a really lovely kind of nice cozy smell this one wasn't super my cup of tea, but um, my boyfriend said that he really liked this one. But I'm not keen on like baked goods type of smells with candles, but it's rhubarb crumble. It really does smell like rhubarb cr crumble. Um, he really liked that one. And then the last one is Autumn Night, which is a slightly fresher one. Which is that kind of pine smell, which I really like as well. It's nice. But that is everything. Those are my kind of favourite um recommendations for fall when it comes to fragrance and candles. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any recommendations because I love talking about candles and perfume. Um, and I will see you all in my next video.